Good afternoon, this is Brian with Taiba Enterprises, and today we're going to show you what's inside the LG 17x17 17 17 wired cesium detector system when it comes to you from Taiba Enterprises. This is the entire kit that comes inside your 17x17 17 17 LG wired cesium detector. So you've got your Lenovo 24-inch touchscreen LCD, comes with a keyboard and a mouse. The standard setup is going to come with what we call the, uh, the Tiny in One. This is a, the actual CPU itself. The CPU mounts into the back of this monitor right here, and then it's powered by the monitor's uh, power supply. All the cabling, USBs, and hookups are right in the back of this thing. So it's a very slim, sleek system. What's nice is it's a 512 gig solid state drive, so it's very fast and very reliable, more reliable than a, a hard disk that would be spinning. Right here is your 17 by 17 panel. Here's our interface cable, power supply for the interface box, and the interface box itself. So I'm gonna arrange this and get it all set up and show it to you in its finished form, and then we'll take a look at it. So one of the really neat things about these little tiny in one computers is they just slide right into the back. As you can see, we're just gonna slide that in there until we hear it click. And now on this side, you've got access to all your different ports. So we'll plug in the keyboard, plug in the mouse, and then we'll plug in our Cat5 cable. Now that everything's in there, power it up and that powers up the whole thing. So here we have our Lenovo PC that's warming up. Like we said, it was the uh, tiny one. Here is the detector. So we've got our main tether cable going in to the detector that's gonna provide power. Then we've also got the interface box. So this is the cable from the detector. You can see these are labeled DXD1, DXD2. So if you had dual panels, you could use the, both those ports. If you're just gonna use one panel, use the DXD1. Plug your Cat5 cable in right here, which goes directly to the computer to provide communication to the images, power supply here. So we'll just turn this guy on and we'll turn it around so we can see the indicator lights. So you can see here we're showing power and we're showing connection to the internet. We're not in ready state yet because we haven't entered the software. We'll do that in a second. Each one of these computers is gonna come with a sticker on it that tells you the username and password for the system. So. You're going to be logging in under tech. We'll type in the password T E C H, hit enter, and we'll enter the uh, the main desktop of the computer you're going to be receiving. So there's a quick start guide that's also loaded on these computers. Right here, it's this PDF, and you can open this up. You can follow this through. It's just pages talking about how to enter in patients, um, how to set up work list and do different functionality. The other configuration that we provide this system with is a four terabyte RAID 1 computer, which is this larger tower here. So the standard situation would be a um, 17 by 17 detector with a 512 gig tiny in one computer like we showed you that rests right in the back of the uh, monitor. Or if you needed to have a PAX, if you didn't have an archive already, in place to store your images for the long term, we would um, encourage you to purchase the uh, Lenovo ThinkStation 4 terabyte RAID 1 computer and the, um, the PAX software that comes with it for your long-term storage. One thing to show you too is um, these green USB um, Sentinel dongles. This is the license key for the LG software. So be sure that you always keep that in place, never take it out, don't let anyone take it out um, because that would be something you need to replace to make the software work again. In the Tiny N1, it's already up in there. 
as you can see. So make sure that's always in place and left alone. <laughs>